Hi, this is Chuck Martin. We're here in London at the AI Summit. I'm happy to say we have with here Brendan Schulman, Vice President of Policy and Government Relations for Boston Dynamics. Welcome. Thank you, Chuck. So you just came off the stage. Tell me what you talked about. I talked about responsibility in AI and particularly the convergence between AI and robotics. We're seeing how robots are increasingly becoming powerful and useful using AI technologies. And also it's our obligation as the leading company in the industry to address the concerns and ethical dilemma that might be posed by such systems. And since you are obviously one of the major companies in this arena, how, how do you lead? Uh, like, like, what is it that, that you that do? Because as you know, there's a lot of controversy about you know, a robot's gonna take over the world and all that silly stuff. Yeah, we, we deal with a lot of the, the myths of science fiction portrayed by television and movies over the years. Robots are coming to destroy humanity. Uh, obviously, a lot of that's science fiction, but there is a concern that, we, that robots might be weaponized. And we have seen a few instances of people doing that putting the videos on YouTube. So what we've done in terms of leadership is to work with policymakers starting in the United States in three states, California, Massachusetts, and New York, to introduce legislation that would prohibit the weaponization of general purpose robots. So do you have to deal with, with other robotics companies to kind of uh, uh, ethically agree? Uh, we, do, we do. So the, the, the industry trade associations like Mass Robotics, AUVSI, uh, they are supporting uh, the legislation as well. Uh, we also released a um, an open letter from the industry, this was about a year and a half ago, we led uh, five other industry uh, robotics companies pledging not to weaponize our general purpose robots and also calling on lawmakers to work with us uh, to develop that legislation. So we really are working together with the industry on this ethical vision for robots in society. So how does the, the industry, not just your company, but the industry deal with uh, basically responsibility versus unintended consequences? Because if it's unintended, it, it could have been well-meaning, but all of a sudden you've got a bad result. Well, I think when it comes to unintended, we're maybe talking about safety. And, and when it comes to the safety robotic systems, there's a lot that we do to make sure that our robots are safe and reliable. If you were to come to Boston Dynamics, you would see that an entire area in our facility is dedicated to having the robots walking around doing different missions, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, until they break, until something goes wrong. And then we learn from that failure to make the robot better. So in terms of unintended, uh, consequences of robots. Uh, the good news is uh, we haven't seen that, uh, but the, un the unexpected uses have been great. For example, we had a robot about two or three months ago uh, in Cape Cod, Massachusetts, um, that was shot by a suspect in an armed police shootout. They had sent the robot in to investigate what, what's going on, what's the situation uh, inside the home where there's a barricaded suspect, and it was the robot that took the bullets instead of a police officer. So at this point, the unexpected outcomes have actually been great. Um, so tell me about, about regulation versus self-regulation versus outside regulation. AI is dealing with this as, a, as an industry, obviously. Where, where does that fall with robotics? I, I think typically uh, the companies, the developers of technology are really in the best position to understand what the technology does, what the risks are, the concerns that are raised, and also how to address them. Uh, and, and so for us, being proactive, getting out there, acknowledging that there are concerns when it comes to weaponization, when it comes to issues like job displacement, workforce training. It's important for us to acknowledge that there are, there are those concerns and that we have a role in developing solutions. Um, and that, that's really why we, we work together with the other stakeholders to, um, to help create that legislation and also to work um, with the civil rights stakeholders and other, um, other trade associations to understand where else might there be concerns. And I think that's the approach that you could take across the entire AI spectrum. It, AI is a very kind of loosely defined and broad term. We're at the AI summit. What is AI? Is it just software? There's so many amazing industries represented here. I think what's essential is focus. Narrow down on uh, the problem or challenge or concern that may be raised in a certain defined context and then figure out what is the technical or legal or policy-based solution or maybe all of the above. We need technology, we need policy, uh, working together to solve it. I think that's how you tackle these challenges. So a year from now, we're sitting here having this conversation about AI ethics, robotics. What will we be talking about? <laughs> the same thing? I, I hope we'll, we'll be talking about the bills that we got passed uh, in, in the US that prohibit weaponization and that establish the model for responsible robotics use. And hopefully there will also be interest um, internationally. Part of the reason I'm here is to discuss with stakeholders here, government officials on the panel, for example. Can we work together on this kind of legislative framework elsewhere. Uh, I was at a United Nations conference a couple weeks ago, also on AI. Same conversations. How can we implement what I think is actually low-hanging fruit 
the idea that AI has a lot of aspects to it in terms of intellectual output, um, concerns about misinformation, intellectual property misappropriation, generative AI. There's also this physical AI. There's the physical embodiment of AI in the robots that we want to address. So I think next year we'll be talking about what are the problems we've already started to solve and how can we take those solutions and spread them across the world. Well, I look forward to that conversation. Thank you. And this is Chuck Martin at the AI Summit London.